Hello and welcome back to the channel. After today's video, I wanted to make another quick video and go over how I go about vendor flipping. So how about I go onto the auction house and how I'm making gold right now. And it's not a sexy way to make gold. It can be kind of boring, but it is free gold. And it works quite well. And if you take a little bit of extra time, you can make it a little bit more worth your time. And I'll show you how. So let's get after it. First thing is first, I use this right here. And I showed it in the last video, but I'm showing it again and going over it. This is just a quick leatherworking Google Sheets. I apologize, I do not know who I actually got this from originally, and I feel bad about that. I need to figure out that information so I can give them credit in the comments. This is not my doing, okay? I do use it though. So let me go over this. So all you need to do is go down here to user input, and put in the prices of each of these items. So it's really easy to go in here and like if I go look at favorites, let's look at the item that I'm gonna try to craft. So let's look at Desolate Leather for instance. Desolate Leather you see right now, it's I can easily get it at 244. So like 244 is super easy to get. So if I wanna go down here and change that right here, Desolate Leather, let's put in 244. Let's put that in. Changes that price. Now let's get the price of pallid bone for the item I want to make. Let's go back. How? What price can I get pallid bone? You can see it's very easily obtainable at 120, which I already have. And then the other other one that really matters is the price that you can get uh, thread at if you're exalted, like exalted with Stormwind, for instance. I can buy it from the vendor at 8.8 .8 gold per. It does all the calculations for you and it'll spit out the price of the item. So it'll do the crafting cost that it's going to be, the vendor sell price, and then this over here, the profit, meaning how much gold you would make per item that you sold to a vendor, and then the profit per hour to where, for instance, I want to make the desolate scale treads, and right now it would cost me 34 gold and 64 silver to craft, and I would gain 38 gold and 35 silver by selling it to the vendor that's three gold and 71 profit per and that would net me approximately 6,000 gold an hour I know 6,000 gold is not a sexy number but it's not bad <laughs> like it's all right if you just want to buy a ton of this go sit in your you know covenant hall or whatever the case may be and then just watch some YouTube or something and craft and sell it to the vendor all right but this is based off of the prices I put down here this is almost like a worst case scenario. You know you can buy these at this price, but I don't necessarily do that. I do for one of them, but not for the other. For instance, pallid bones. There is so much at this price, I am not worried about getting pallid bones at a gold 20 right now. There's more than enough here. So I kind of just mark that off the list. So the only thing that really changes, because if you look, um, the treads, six leather two bones two thread the price of thread won't change and I'm not gonna change the price on pallid bones I'm more than likely gonna buy them at a gold 20 but the price that can fluctuate really a lot is desolate leather so basically I just try to score desolate leather for cheaper than two gold and 44 and that's this simple that's as simple as going in here I mean look there's two gold 40 that's decent but I know I can get it cheaper and this sounds scummy but I do this right here Boom. Just like that. I sit here and it sounds really dumb and taking advantage. But other people are trying to get other people to post things cheaper. And if you just sit here and refresh, you're going to find some cheaper. It's going to be smaller stacks. You might get lucky and get a big stack. Um, you know, those people that post stuff up for one silver to try to bait. I kind of just try to steal the thing that they're trying to get. And I try to steal it from them instead. And, and it's really not too bad if you already have like base numbers to go by, which for me, my current base number is, I really want less than two gold and 40. Really, I want less than that if I can. And I want less than a gold 20. But if you also see the combination, that's three gold and 60, 60. So I kind of know that I want to stay at that or better to get almost six and a half K an hour. And then to me, it starts to feel kind of worth it. But if I just sit here and do this, yeah, that's only five cents cheaper per, excuse me, five silver cheaper per, but it adds up, you know? So like if you got lucky 
Which actually, I might even leave it at that price and see if I can get some cheaper than that. Yeah, see, look, it was already all bought out. If I mean, you get lucky and somebody can post, you know, a couple thousand at two. If they post a couple thousand at two, the numbers that you ran were 240, and it takes six of them. Six times four, you're saving two gold 40 cents, you know, per the craft. That means those that you craft at that price, all of a sudden you're making back like five gold per. Anyway, it's really, really easy to do this. And it's really easy to just sit here at the auction house and refresh. And sometimes, like, if it doesn't look like I'm getting there, I might go and try to save some money with Pallid. Look at that. If I can buy those, it adds up, you know? Even the five cents, you know, excuse me, I keep saying that. Either the five silver or getting them super cheap. I just kind of do this for a while. I have numbers that I want to hit. And I refresh trying to get some of it cheaper. I will basically just spend... A little bit of time doing this and after I feel like I got enough I will kind of gather it all of my leather worker and kind of figure out if I need a little bit more or a little bit less and then I'll buy the thread and go from there see this is the thing that people are doing is they're trying to post things a little bit cheaper you know so that they can snipe it and steal it and where I don't know if they have multiple people doing it or what but they are so fast it's really hard to grab and they post one at that price just hoping that somebody else will will post. So if you're lucky, <laughs> you can try to steal it from them. And maybe if somebody accidentally posts low, you can get it. It's kind of scummy. But with, with the way that this market is right now, with just how many people are posting, these numbers change so drastically, like, all the time. I'm mostly just trying to get any sort of gear deal. Like, that was, like, 76 at 2. But it matters, you know. It just, it just adds up on the price. However, we know from the spreadsheet on how much gold, you know, even at 2.4, it could be 2.43, like I'm, I'm still gonna make, I'm still gonna make profit. So what we need to do is just figure out how much we need. I know for a fact by looking at this that the uh, threads, excuse me, treads, need six desolate, two bones, and two of the thread. So I know that I basically need three times as many, three times as many leathers as I have bones. If you look here, I have essentially 2,800. Let's just say, quick math, I have 2,800 here, so that's 2,800 times three. So I know that I need 8,400 leather. So right now I have basically 2,800, right? So I need, I need another 6,000. Is what I need to buy approximately a little bit less not by much but you know essentially I need like 6,000 I know I can buy these at this price see if I get really lucky you know if you get lucky like that <laughs> buying them at two gold apiece like it adds up it just adds up so that's the thing I would suggest if you feel like when you do go to craft you don't want to waste your time only making 6k an hour and just every time you're out at the auction house see if you can snag just a little bit at a time you know, maybe at the end of the week, go through and craft it all. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the last little amount I need. I know from the amount of bones I bought, which was 2,204, that I need the exact same amount. So on this character, which by the way, I have, you know, where is it? Down here at the bottom, right? Somewhere. There we go. I have Stormwind Exalted, so I, I can just come to Stormwind and, and buy them if I need to. So from here, I know that I need 2,204 thread, so I can say, oops, I can just go to the vendor and say, I bought one, so 2,203. I know that I can buy 2,203 thread, that's how much I need. There we go, that's done. I believe I was at uh, 2 million... Uh, two million three hundred and twenty three thousand so we spent 40 about 41 about 41 K is what we spent in total Granted, I got a lot I got way more than enough for an, for like way over an hour I believe so either way I'm gonna send this over and get crafting and here we are on my leather worker I probably should not have gathered everything at once it's gonna make this a little annoying but now I just go in here and I needed to make the desolate scale treads. As you can see, two bones, two thread, six of those. I can just go to craft all. 
I know I can make 1102 of them. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can make 1500 an hour. So I guess this is a little bit below an hour. I'm not too sure on that though. Don't quote me. But either way, it's now just this simple. It's as simple as crafting them until your bag fills up. You know, talking to the vendor, selling them to the vendor, and crafting some more. That's it. That's the guide. Go make some free gold, and I'll see you in the next one.